Hi everybody, it's Practical Mommy and today I'm with Sophia Parachakis, who is a developmental psychologist, a speaker, and an author. And we are talking about a hot topic today, and that is screen time for your babies and toddlers. So it's been in the news a lot. Sure has. Baby Einstein, the, the recall. Yeah. And so my question is, and I know the question a lot in the minds of a lot of parents is, is baby Einstein hurting my baby? <laughs> well, and that's the first question I often get. Is it hurting my baby? And the second question is, can it help my baby? Can it make my baby smarter? Mm -hmm. And the bottom line is it's not an all or nothing answer. Um, if somebody's watching hours and hours of it, that is not good. And mainly because of what it keeps the baby from. We know from so much other research that babies need us. They need us talking to them, responding to them, caring for them. It helps them develop skills, helps the brain grow. And the TV, just even the best TV program, even those wonderful, colorful, interesting programs, they don't respond to you directly. Mm -hmm. So my answer to does it hurt your baby, less is more. Um, it's okay to use it for a little break. Maybe the baby's fussy. Maybe you'd really like to go and load the dishwasher uninterrupted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but keep it really minimal. In fact, the um, recommendations are really that no amount is safe, in part because we haven't studied it for a long time. This is pretty new. Uh huh. Um, in terms of whether it'll make your baby smarter, no. Real life experiences will make your baby smarter every time you talk to your baby and respond to your baby and repeat what your baby says and look right into his or her eyes. That's really interesting because I remember, you know, getting them as presents, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that I very popular some of presents them at at one point, and popping them in and thinking, really, <laughs> really, this is gonna the, this baby is gonna, Einstein is gonna right. you know increase literacy or, or teach my baby different languages, really. And I think it's one so of those things. You're a skeptic. Things. I like skeptics. It's <laughs> well, a good yeah, to be a skeptic. Like, well, you know, they say that, and everybody's buying into this, and. It's kind of one of those, like, you know, check in with your gut. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> check in with your gut. It's a two-dimensional presentation. There, that just, there aren't any humans in No that. humans. Well, there's some human hands, right, <laughs> reaching in. Um, and if you look at the fine print, as they have said, you know, they, they weren't making um, any hard claims because they can't. they can't. They haven't studied, you know, they haven't been able to follow babies and find that they're smarter. Now research is starting to come in and showing that, if anything, there is some um, long-term disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't mean watching a little bit here and there so that you can get a break is going to harm your baby in some serious way. But if you look over years of a baby not getting spoken to, not getting help because they're in front of that DVD there is screen, definitely. and where we're seeing it is with language. Uh, babies learn language by being spoken to, by being in conversations where people are talking to each other. You know, it's not just the baby being in front of the DVD who's then getting less. Mm -hmm. When the TV's on, everyone in the room is doing less talking. Mm. And so the mm. whole conversation of the house goes down. And so how is the baby really supposed to learn point. language? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoyed it.